Coming up on Mountain News this morning, one care facility here in Hazard needs help caring for patients, and it's as easy as picking up the phone. And we take you to Letcher County, where steps are being taken to open up an airport to help with economic development in the area. Plus, have you ever wanted to live in a castle? Well, now is the chance for one eager buyer as one Versailles landmark goes back on the market. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, it's 459. I'm Will Puckett. And I'm Madison Pergram. Well, thank you for tuning in to Mountain News this morning on this Thursday, or Madison, as we like to call around here. Friday Eve. Mm -hmm. The weekend mm -hmm. is almost inside, so I have to get through today. But I have a bad segue because I have no idea what's happening in the weather world, but you know who does. Brandon. Brandon, so let's bring him in this morning. Brandon, mm -hmm. what should we expect as we head into this Thursday, Friday, and this weekend? Well, here's the thing. I know you were out a little bit later than normal yesterday morning because you came in work day side, but mm -hmm. what did you notice this morning that was different from yesterday morning? Uh, no frost, a little warmer. No frost because it's warmer. Exactly. Temperatures right now much warmer than they were yesterday. No teens, no 20s for most folks, but the clouds are here ahead of that system. Let's take a look at satellite radar. They moved in overnight and really been hanging thick. They actually started moving in yesterday afternoon. Outside WIMT, things are fairly quiet this morning. Just the cloud cover, no rain, but look at these temperatures. 34 in Jackson and Hazard, 30 Somerset, 30 Irvin, 27 in Ashland is our cold spot. We were at 11 in Irvin this time yesterday morning and close to 40 there in Y. So that's a nice change. Anywhere between 15 and 20 degrees warmer in most locations than it was yesterday. So I'm almost ready to back off to a normal day on the coffee meter, but we'll go just a little bit extra because some of those folks are a little closer to freezing or below. Out the door forecast, let's try to balance it out and call it 32 this morning. Then we'll get to 50 later on today, maybe a touch warmer, but the rain chances will pick up as we head into the nighttime hours. I'll talk about the extended forecast coming up in just a little bit. Madison. Thank you, Brandon. Well, the Knox County KCEOC Community Action Partnership is needing donations for their senior citizens programs. The administrators say they are about $2,500 in the hole each month and are needing $26,000 to stay afloat through this year. The programs not only feed around 60 people a day, but also provides homemaker services. People in the program say the fellowship is invaluable. We uh, tell jokes and pull pranks and we, uh, we just enjoy each other. And to remember that God has them here for a special purpose and they need to enjoy that purpose as well. If you want to donate, you can make checks payable to KCEOC Community Action Partnership at their location in Gray. It is as simple as picking up the phone. Bluegrass Care Navigators in Hazard is looking for callers, people who call patients to check and make sure they're okay and they do not need anything. Kelly Callahan says it's a good opportunity for many people. Really anybody can do this job. It's super, super easy. Um, great for people who maybe are not wanting to go out to patient homes, but who still want to have that contact with patients. Care callers come in on Thursday mornings and trainings are offered. If you are interested, we have how to apply on our website at WYMT.com. The Letcher County Airport Board was able to purchase 600 acres of land for a new airport. The board paired with the Federal Aviation Administration to make the project happen. One board member says this will help, help with economic development in the area. We just think it'll be a tremendous asset. And also some of the companies already here have uh, told us they were very interested in us pursuing this and getting a new airport for Letcher County. The total cost of the project is an estimated 20 to 30 million dollars. Board members hope it will be complete in the next five to eight years. A third earthquake is in southern Kentucky in the past few days. A 2.4 magnitude quake happened around 446 Tuesday afternoon. It was centered about two miles north northeast of Fincastle, Tennessee, and likely was not felt. That's close to the epicenter of a 3.8 magnitude quake that shook parts of southern Kentucky and northern Tennessee Monday. The first quake in this series of tremors was Sunday. It measured as a 2.8. And rescue crews were called out to Whitley County to rescue an injured hiker yesterday. The London Laurel County Rescue Squad shared these photos to Facebook. They say they were called out to the Nose Dock area to rescue the injured person. Once they found them, they were able to bring the patient up a river using a boat. 
Well, a new group of EMTs just graduated from the first AMR Lifeguard Earn to Learn program. AMR Lifeguard started this new program due to an EMT shortage in eastern Kentucky. This program actually pays the students who participate, bringing added relief to those who may have to go to work and go to school at the same time. Really taking away some of those financial challenges that people, you know, couldn't really afford to quit their jobs in order to go to school full time. 21 of the 25 students passed the Earn to Learn program. If you're interested in the new AMR program, we have more details over on our website at WYMT.com. And Lexington Police made an unusual rescue this week. An officer had to help a deer trapped in a swimming pool. It happened Monday morning at a home on Crawley Lane. Police posted this body camera video on social media yesterday. You can see an officer actually pulling the deer out of the pool and the deer ran off seemingly uninjured and probably happy to get out of that cold water. Well, the Kentucky Castle is back on the market. We don't know the asking price of the Versailles landmark. A listing for the castle says it is a, quote, call for offers process. The castle was last sold in 2017 to a group of investors, including two UK doctors, for $8.7 million. The property is listed through Sylvestri Real Estate on loopnet.com. The realtors have set up multiple property tour dates through the next three months. And the $80 million project to renovate the historic Gold House Hotel in downtown Louisville is more than halfway finished. Right now, the renovation is 65% complete. About half of the 1,200 guest rooms have been made over. The other half will be finished by the end of the summer. Walker's Exchange Restaurant and Jockey Silks Bar have already opened. And Swizzle Restaurant is set to open in the West Tower this spring. Well, thank you for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. More news is on the way. Coming up, an Italian restaurant in Australia made a massive pizza to help raise dough for firefighters battling the devastating wildfires across the country. Today will be our mild, mildest day of the week ahead of the next system that could bring us a little bit of everything. I'll track it out for you in about three minutes.